Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are tuned in once again with Cindy, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. I wanna discuss something that I feel like God has placed on my heart to share with you guys, and that is my journey to running. My journey has not been something that's been very straightforward. It's kind of gone up and it's gone down. I'm not really in a position that I would have thought I would have been in 10 years ago. I did not think I would be running. My journey's a bit interesting. My situation can relate to everybody's circumstance in life in the sense that sometimes we have to allow life and God to kind of direct us in order for us to kind of be aligned with what we are called to do. And I believe athletics is just something that I was born to do. I don't believe it's the only thing that has given me worth, but I do believe it is something that plays a huge part in who I am as a person. I just believe that Today, I can use my story to hopefully encourage somebody out there who's kind of trying to figure out what they want to do and um, or how they can make a change or whatever they want to do in life. Um, and I hope that somehow you can relate to this story and that we can kind of be similar in that regard. So before I get into the content I want to talk about, I want to remind anybody who's new to my channel that I produce motivation videos, I produce like workout videos, so if you have not yet, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and I will produce videos like this weekly for you guys. Yeah, so. It's hard for me to begin sometimes with my journey because it's like where did it even begin, but initially I started running track when I was 16 years old. and. Prior to that, I had never wanted to run, you guys. Like, I just didn't like running. It was something that was more of a job and it was really hard and I just, I didn't enjoy it. So I was determined to play volleyball. I was determined to be a basketball player or something else. I knew I had, I had some type of athletic ability just because I had three siblings who all played sports in Division One college in America. So uh, I knew that I had a calling to kind of do something with athletics as well. However, I didn't know if running was something I really wanted to do. I didn't want to follow down that path, especially since I have an older sister who runs. I didn't really want to be the person who kind of followed her and did whatever she did. So I wanted to follow my own path. So I began pursuing the sport of volleyball. And that was something I really did enjoy. It was something it's taught me so much and it helped me grow as an individual in a lot of ways. I have never had like a really huge team aspect. Having that aspect of a team was really, really great for me as I grew to become an athlete. However, when I was playing volleyball, that's one of these other sports that I thought was gonna bring me success and bring me my happiness and joy. I came to realize that it was just really hard for me to succeed. Like I had the ability, I was athletic, but things were just so much harder than I thought they needed to be and it was getting really frustrating and I didn't understand why. Like I wasn't getting recruited like all the other athletes. It just wasn't coming naturally. Like I was good, but I was putting in all this effort for like little result and it was just getting to the point where I'm just like, okay, well maybe this is not for me. I didn't understand. So I decided to take a go at athletics and just run and see kind of where it, where it took me and where it went. Initially, you guys, I actually was pretty bad. Like, bad. <laughs> I would come last, I would fall, I would, like, even my sister saw, she was just like, are you sure you want to be a runner? But I was just like, um, I don't even know. It was just kind of all over the place. I got shin splints, it was just hard. I was like, I'm not for this. So I literally quit and I was just like, I'm not doing this, I'm done. I'm gonna just either focus on the other sports or just focus on school or whatever it was. And I decided to quit. And then later on, a couple weeks later, my or days later, even not weeks, my coach calls me and says, "Hey, Cindy, you have a lot of potential. Do not quit on this. Like, give it some time. You're gonna you're gonna come through. I believe in you. I see a lot of potential in you." So I said, "Okay, let me give this one more try. You know, not really feeling it, but we'll see how it goes." And eventually, you know, I started seeing how things started coming naturally. I said that I became a hurdler. I saw my, my form come together. I saw myself just hurdling naturally, sprinting naturally. Uh, it just took a little bit of effort. I started winning races all of a sudden, having bigger PBs, just doing a lot of things that I was actually kind of quite shocked with because I was just like, I didn't expect to you know, run times that were kind of happening. Like it was just really coming together for me. Eventually, I actually started getting recruited. How I had not gotten recruited in volleyball or basketball, the sports I actually really wanted, I started getting recruited in this, in this sport, and I was just like, what is going on? Like, okay, I guess this is how it's gonna have to happen. I'm gonna maybe play college sports and how we go from there. And then eventually, as I got recruited, I started having things happening. So I got recruited by different schools, but then I would have a really bad year after that. The year was not bad, it was just more so I had fallen at the really important track meet, um, I had false started, I had a lot of things happen that were just kind of out of my control and it really scared me. I was like, okay, so I just put all my eggs in one basket and now that I thought I was gonna be playing a Division One sport like my, my siblings had, I don't even have the opportunity because now all these scouts are gonna forget about me. I almost gave up again, you guys. Like I, I was an athlete who, when things got extremely hard, 
I just wanted to give up. But there was always something there. If it wasn't my coach, if it wasn't my family, there was always a little voice in my head saying, Cindy, keep trying, keep going, keep pushing. And I came to realize eventually that that was God. And that was God telling me, like, Cindy, this is what I've called you to do. This is the sport that's going to help you not only get a scholarship to the university and pursue a, a, an academic degree, but it's going to help you just become a better athlete overall. And it's going to help you succeed and accomplish things that you never thought you could so that you can help another person get to that level. So. I didn't really realize what God was doing at the time, but eventually I got to the point where I did get to college. Obviously I went to the U of M. I guess the, the moral of the story with my journey to running has been the fact that nothing that I have succeeded in came easy. I've always had some type of failure that allowed me to succeed. It's almost as if God said, this is not gonna be easy for you. You're going to have to work extremely hard just to get the dreams that I put in your mind. So what I've come to the conclusion, what I've learned kind of a lot from this whole situation of growing athletics has been to allow God to take over for you. If, if you have a faith and you believe that you have a calling on your life, allow that to happen and you'll know that it's, it's something you're supposed to be doing. If it comes, it might come with a little bit of struggle and don't get me wrong, it's something that you're supposed to be doing will never be easy, but you'll see that it'll be a lot more natural. You'll feel like it's a blessing. You'll feel like it's fun. Like even though you're working hard, you'll like, enjoy it and it'll just be something that you really want to do. Like. When I was playing volleyball, like I said, I enjoyed it. It wasn't bad or anything, but it was just like I was putting in all this work for a little result. And I didn't understand why. I was just like, I'm doing all the hard work I can, but like I'm not really seeing the fruit from it. And with track and field, I see that, you know, it's not just teaching me how to be an athlete, but it's teaching me so much more in my life. And that is why I think God has placed this specific sport for me to do. And that's because he wants me to do something with it after athletics is finished and while I'm still in the sport. And like I said, nothing has come easy. I've had injuries, um, not too many, but this one I'm going through at the moment um, was my biggest one. But I had small things in the past too that kind of hindered my success, but all those little things helped me get to where I'm at now. So what I'm really trying to share with you guys in this journey is even if it might seem like it's hard for you like you, you don't really understand why things are happening just allow God to kind of work in your life pray about it um, ask him you know allow him to just kind of take control because I promise you when you are starting to do the thing that you're supposed to be doing rather than what you think you're supposed to do you'll be a lot more pleased and happier and when you're not really in control of things you just feel like you can rest more and you can have more contentment and you'll just really enjoy your place and where you're at and you will make a huge difference I believe that this injury happened for a reason that I had gone through and I'm super happy with how I've grown as a person I would never be who I am as an athlete right now had track and field not been a part of my life so I'm super blessed and just extremely happy for it to happen and for all you guys out there who are looking for some type of purpose whether it's you know not even in athletics or sport like anything outside of that whatever you're trying to do just let your journey continue happening you'll see that uh, whatever you're supposed to do will be will happen and if bad things may happen to something you think is supposed to happen in your life Don't let that bother you because at the end of the day You're going to be where you're supposed to be at the right time and it might not make sense now or eventually But it will make sense at the end of it all and you'll look back and say Okay, that made a lot more sense Everything will come together and you'll see that you have a bigger calling bigger than yourself bigger than you can imagine And this will drive you into your purpose and what you're supposed to be doing in life and drive you to be the person you're supposed to be so just make sure you're being led by Jesus, how you feel, and what gifts you have inside to kind of find your God-given talent or purpose. And I promise you guys, you will be very content and very happy with where you want to be. So I hope this helps somebody out there who is trying to figure out if they're doing something correct or if things are difficult. My journey has, like I said, has not been easy. I definitely had a lot happen that molded me to where I'm at. I still have a lot more to do um, in terms of growth. So thanks for tuning in. Um, this is just a kind of quick version of it. I didn't want to talk for hours. I can definitely talk a lot more, but make sure you like this video if it somehow inspired you. And if you had something similar, like a similar situation, or you're going through something right now where you're figuring out, okay, what am I supposed to be doing or is where I'm at supposed to be the correct place just whatever it is leave a comment down below I love to hear what you guys have to say I don't mind replying and you know helping with some type of encouragement or help that might give you some guide to do this but every single day just remember that you are going to end up where you're supposed to be so do not stress and just allow your life to work itself out through God especially Christmas is coming up I'm super excited I don't know if you guys can see these little Santa Claus hats I have in the background but they are my fave and let me put the camera over here to my Christmas tree I love Christmas you guys so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway um, for some idea stuff 
because I love Adidas clearly and they're so supportive. So make sure to be on the lookout. I'm gonna probably do it on my Instagram page. So if you are not following me yet, make sure you follow. My name is Cindy Ophelia, the same name as this YouTube channel. So yeah, make sure you follow me there so you can see how you can be entered to win. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.